Well, I'm checking to check it out. So, another carrot has been dangled. Now, what do I mean by that? Another, another, da another carrot. A nice golden edible carrot has now been dangled amongst the fellow people. Okay. Now, again, what we're talking about. We're talking about this so-called freedom day, days, weeks, or whatever, however long it's going to be, until the people in the dark suits come back and bite you on the fucking ass again because you fell for the carrot. You fell for the mouse trap. That's what you've done. You, you fell for it. Now, this only applies to the people who ain't awake, you know, who don't know what's going on, who don't know what's going to happen, who don't know the script. Now, that's all it applies to, okay? So if you know what's what, you know, the, then I'm just talking about stuff you would know about. But having said that, you know, now it's. Well, I knew from the start they weren't going to make it completely, and a, a complete gag rag free state, you know. There's people, they've made it compulsory on transport still. You still got to wear a fucking gag rag on, on uh, public transport. So we knew it, that I knew it weren't fully going to disappear. Just me, it weren't. But having said that, so, but, so now, you, you know, now it's a personal choice. To call it a personal choice, and um, you know whether you want to wear one or not, in um, in settings, in yeah, in this very in many other settings, they've made that a compulsion, they've made it um, a, a choice, you know, a choice, a personal choice, you know, where you gotta assess the risk, you know, you gotta make sure that the choice you're making is responsible, you know, they, 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 they want to make sure that. Let me close this fucking door and this fucking window. People make it look too much fucking noise. Um, so yeah, they made it a personal choice that you gotta be, you know, that you, you that you that you can that you're able to take responsibility and know when you should wear it and when you shouldn't. Okay. So. The slave masters are now giving you a task. They've given you a task. It's almost like they've they've loosened the reins just slightly. They've, they've loosened it. You know, you know when you grow up. You know when you you know you reach to a certain age. I don't know. Um, you know when you when you reach when you first reach a teenager, you get you know or you know when you grow you know when you're growing up from them little ages, you, you get. The reins are loose and a little bit. You let you, you allow a little bit more freedom from your parents, you know. You know, you're allowed to stay out till instead of eight o'clock, you're allowed to stay out till nine o'clock or ten o'clock, you know, stuff like that. So that's what it's like. So that's what they do. Now I can open my door again because the the noise has now subsided for a little bit. <coughs> a bit of fucking glare around here. Better. Yeah, so the slave masters now they've now they've now loosened up the reins, you know? They give you they give you a task, they give you a bit of responsibility to say, hey, we entrust you to make the right choices, you know, make make, make the right choices on where to wear it. You know. But the funny thing is, so, you know. The brainwashing has been such a success, and you know what? That's the only thing I can give these um, give these evil people, these sick bastards. You know, that's the only thing I can give them actual credit for. The way they can manipulate and brainwash people, they've done that. They've they've they've, they've worked that treat. Okay, can we all know that? You know, they've got psychologists who work for them. They know how to they know human behaviors, you know, you know all that. 
obviously that works on some people. In fact, that works on most people. It doesn't always work on, you know, and then obviously there's a, there's a minority of people who are awake who it doesn't work on, clearly. But anyway, so yeah, that's the only credit I can give them that, yeah, that's the only credit I can give them that their brainwashing um, tactics have worked because you've still got people who are entrenched in, in wearing them no matter what, you know? Some of these people cannot take this fucking gag rug off. The, the, like, forget about what's going on now, today. Like, just the fact that, just the mere fact that people are wearing it outside. Yeah, I've spoken about this before. People are wearing them outside. Yeah. It's never been, t it's never ever been a mandate to wear them outside. But people are so now mentally they're so fucked up in the head that they're doing it everywhere you know they cannot take the thing off it's you know if not wearing it fully over their fucking face you know they're wearing it underneath their fucking chin you know the little chin warmer you know it's just always there you know because you just never know when the fucking part you know when the COVID particles might just arrive, you know, they might, whenever the field, there might be in a, a, a sticky situation, you know, you might be, you know, there might, might be somewhere there where there's particles everywhere so they can just fucking flick it up in a matter of time, you, you know, flick it up quickly, you know. Maybe that's why I do it. I don't know. Yeah, so, yeah, people are still wearing them now. Again, when they don't have to. You know, there's been polls out where they said that 50% of people will still wear it. <laughs> to be honest, I thought that'd be higher. But 50% is still bad. You know, considering these, they've now been giving actual government clearance, you know. They've actually listened, you know, the masses are now telling them that, hey, you don't actually have to wear them now apart from on public transport. But people are still wearing them outside. So this, you know, this so... It's like, what the fuck is it? It's like, it's like being kidnapped or being, or being a slave somewhere for however long, and your captors have now said they've now said that you're now free to go. But they they've been they're so used they've been so used to the abuse and all that stuff, right? That they they like it's not even they can't even comprehend it's not even feasible for them to think for themselves no more they can't do it they can't like it's been drilled into them you know it's like something's been implanted in them now when i say implanted actually i'm, you know, I'm not even being for she for, uh, i can't say the word there i'm not even being sarcastic in a way really because you know what we all know that certain things you know with the you know that certain inoculations <coughs> implant certain things. Let's just say that. But anyway, um, yeah. So so it's been so implanting them that they have to be doing this and doing that. You, you know, it started from what? When did the the mass mandate come out? I think it was June, July. I think it's July twenty fourth. Well, people were wearing them before that as well. But as soon as that came out, so it's been a good year now. Yeah, it's been a good year. And they don't want to come out of it. They they're happy, you know, they're happy to still be a slave. They're happy to you know, they you know it's sort of like the cap their their slave masters have, have like gave them a bit of a holiday. They've gave them a holiday and they don't want to go. They still want to be on the fucking plantation. They don't want the holiday. You know? Like no sir. We you know, we we're gonna stay here and we're gonna carry on working, you know, we're gonna work for free. Well, then again, slaves do work for free. Some of them, you know, you know, they might get a little bit of money, but let's say they were, you know, we're gonna, we, you know, we're gonna work. We're still gonna work for free, even though you told us we can have a holiday. But no, I don't want to hire. We're gonna still work for free, and this is where we are. And unfortunately, um, again, people have took the bait. They've took the carrot, so. You know, you know, you know, so basically these are for the people who who are just going on to get along, you know, and the people who 
they don't really like the restrictions as such, you know, but, you know, they wear a mask, they wear a gag rag because it's easy, you know. It's just easy, you know. I don't want to get confronted. They'll, they'll, they'll go and get their fucking, their poison um, injected into them. They'll go get that. You know, they'll go get the multiple doses of that injected into them. They're happy to get multiple multiple um, poison shots, you know. They're happy to get that forever and a day. They're happy for it. Just to, you know, just to go along, you know. They don't want no drama. Just to try and live a normal life, you know. That's what, that's what they want to do, you know. So, these, so it's, it's these kind of people who, who who fell for the fucking bait. Because they're thinking, right, fucking hell, that's everything's fucking helping up, you know? Everything's helping up, that's fucking brilliant, lads, isn't it? You know what I mean? We can fucking go to the fucking clubs, go to the pubs, we can do all that, like, you know? You know, the, you know, that's what they're saying. They think it's over. They think it's over, yeah? Again, it's like, as other people have said before, as, as I've mentioned before, not necessarily on this channel, but... Uh, I've said before, it's like being in an abusive relationship, you know. I don't know about that, cause I, I've, I haven't been, I haven't been the abuser. I know they've been abused, but going by, you know, we've all seen stories on what the common traits are. So it's like being in an abusive relationship, you know what I mean? Whether it's a guy doing it or a man or a woman doing it, whatever. You know, the per one person will constantly beat the fuck up or mentally abuse and physically abuse one person for forever and a day. And then one day they might feel like being nice to them for a few weeks. And then the person who's getting abused, all of a sudden they're all smiles, they're all happy. You know, they're the same one telling, telling their friends, oh, you know, he's not too bad, he's all right. You know, sometimes he, he just gets a little bit angry, you know what I mean? He just gets a little bit angry sometimes and he just fucking flies off the handle, but he doesn't mean it. He doesn't mean it, you know. It's all right, he does, you know, he booked us a holiday for, uh, booked us a holiday to, to Lanzarote. You know, we have two weeks, we have some two weeks together. You know what I mean? And, you know, he bought me some flowers as well. So, you know, so it's, not, it's not a bad guy. It's just sometimes, you know, certain things stick him off, you know what I mean? And I, I don't help either. Sometimes if, we, you know, sometimes if we just breathe, you know, sometimes he doesn't like that. And sometimes, and that's when he goes off the handle. Sometimes, so some, so, you know, sometimes I don't actually breathe. I have to go outside and breathe, you know? Yeah, so, you know, it's like being in a abusive relationship. So what they've done now is... Loosened, like I said, they've loosened the reins, and they're gonna come back even harder. That's what I'm gonna do. They're gonna come back even harder. Okay. Before I've, you know, if you've been paying attention, you gotta listen to the keywords because they tell you what they're gonna do. They tell you what they're going to do. Okay. They've been telling you, but people are so dumb. They can't fucking decipher these words. They can't, you know, they can't decipher the meaning of what it is. Because uh, again, like this, a lot of these, a lot of these people are brain dead zombies who are who basically sleep walking through this bullshit. You know, fucking robots. You know what I mean? They would get programmed, whatever. But anyway, they've told you before about a dark winter, and it's coming. It's coming. Okay, so. I'm just trying to think, would it be as worse as last time? Was the last lockdown? Possibly. But it might be even worse. I think it might be worse this time. Again, I'm not too sure how long they're gonna... Um, I'm, not too, I'm not sure how long they're gonna... do things for this time around, you know? But... It's not gonna be good, guys. It's not gonna be good. I can tell you that. For, I can tell you that for nothing. It's not gonna be good. Um, so the thing is, I can't tell. You can't tell these the brain dead zombies this. You can't tell them that because they won't listen. You know. You know. I've spoke to my family. It's pointless. You know. It's actually pointless. So it really is actually pointless. But um, yeah. So it's gonna be. It's gonna be a bad. It's gonna be bad times. Are bad times are, are coming upon us again. They will be coming again. Um. 
get ready for get ready for the the passports get ready for the passports they told this last summer certain places have already certain places have already got them in play already I think France has so get ready for the passports so that will create even more divide amongst the people who decided to take the clot shot um, yeah that's a new one that is I heard someone call it the clot shot the other day <laughs> So, so, so it's going to create even more divide from people who had a clutch shot to the people who ain't. Um, you know, so more, so there's going to be some, you know, and they're all going to blame it on certain, um, you know, certain, uh, certain things beginning with V, you know, someone called V or someone called V, whatever. V A R V A R I E N T S. Yeah. So they already got that in play. That, 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 they've already got that. The, they've, already, they've already planted the seed already. You know, if you listen to the news or you just catch certain things, they've already planted the seed about certain V A R I A R E N T S making its way, you know. So they're going to use that as an example to maybe create even more harsher. Um, style a lot there next time but what can we say you know for the people who are awake you know we might as well en you know enjoy this time a little bit more um you know make the most of it you know yeah we may as well just make the most of it but we know what we, the, us awake people we know what's coming down the tube we know what's coming down i know what's coming down and the best thing you can do now, as well as try, as well as enjoying yourself right by now, you still got to make pre preparations for for when shit hits the fan. It will do again, okay. And like I said, you know, the nectar, the nectar is so sweet, you know. For the for these robots out here, the, the nectar's so sweet, yeah. That when shit hits the fan. Yeah. But when shit hits the fan, yeah, come winter time, maybe come autumn winter time, when shit hits the fan, whoo! It's gonna be interesting, guys. People are gonna be losing their minds, bro. <laughs> but guess what? They'll they'll lose their minds, but they'll, they'll still go ahead with the fucking. They'll still go ahead with the, the with, with the shit show. They'll still go along with it. <laughs> So it's like, <laughs> it's like fucking out while, you know, you're pissed off. What are you going to do about it? Oh, I know. I'm just going to, I'm still going to carry on with the, uh, with the, with the, with the worst restrictions going to put back in place again. I'll still carry on with that, you know. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Anyway, with that, I thought I'd share my thoughts on what's going on. So yeah, with that amount.